Welcome to the Delta Math tutorial. This is on solving quadratic with square roots, a level one. It asks us to solve the following quadratic equation for all variables of x in simplest form. We have 15 plus 3x squared equals to 18. Our goal is to try to get x alone. First step is going to get rid of the 15. It's a positive 15, so we're going to subtract 15 to both sides. This cancels. You have 3x squared on the left-hand side equals to 18 minus 15, which is 3. Now we have a 3x squared on the left-hand side. To get rid of the multiply by 3, we divide it by 3. Okay, This becomes the value of 1, so this becomes x squared is equal to, on the right-hand side, 3 over 3 just becomes 1. To get rid of the square, we are going to square root both sides so we are going to square root and square root both sides we're going to square root the x squared and we're going to square root that one on the left hand side the square root and the power two cancels out leaving you an x we know what the square root of one is which is just one please understand it is also plus and minus there are two answers plus or minus one hit submit there you go Next, you might have a problem that looks something like this. Same process, 5 parentheses x plus 2 squared equals to 20. Our goal is to get rid of the x. So notice what is around it. Well, there is a 5 in front. And again, it is attached via multiplication. So to get rid of it, we divide by 5. Divide by 5 to both sides. This cancels out, leaving you x plus 2 squared is equal to 20 divided by 5, which is just 4. Now, we want to square root both sides because we are trying to get rid of that square. We're going to have to square root x plus 2 squared and square root 4. This is going to cancel out leaving you with just x plus 2 equals to the square root of 4. The square root of 4, the answer to that would be plus or minus 2. You could check this in the calculator. It is plus or minus 2. Now, there are two answers here. Okay. What we have to do is now subtract the 2 to both sides because we're trying to get x alone. So your answer here is going to be negative 2 plus or minus 2. So that's the way they want to enter it here. It's going to be minus 2, and this is the plus or minus 2. Submit the answer. Whoop, that's not right. What did I do wrong? Negative 2 plus or minus 2. Mm, they want the actual answer. Okay. It's not simplified. So this isn't good enough. What they want, we had the intermediate step here. What they want is they want you to actually split it into the two part of the answers. So you have your x minus 2 plus 2. That is one answer. And the other answer was the second answer was at x is equal to negative 2 minus 2. So this was the plus 2 and this was the minus 2. So you get minus 2 plus 2 just became 0. That's the first x. And the other x is negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. Right? So that's what they want. So the fact that you can simplify it, they would like to make sure you can answer it in simplest terms. Right? Okay. Let's do this one. Same process we are going to solve the following quadratic equation in simplest form. So we have parentheses x plus 9 squared plus 41 equals to 45. Okay, Subtract the 41 to both sides, leaving you with a parentheses x plus 9 squared is equal to 45 minus 41, just 4. Now we want to square root both sides. And the reason why we square root both sides is to get rid of this squared. 
So the square the square and the square root cancels out, leaving you with just x plus nine. On the right hand side, we have the square root of four. That was just plus or minus two. Now we are going to subtract nine to both sides, leaving you with x is equal to negative nine plus and minus two. Like from before, there are gonna be two answers. There's the one answer, which is x equals to negative nine plus two. Then you have your second answer which is x is equal to negative 9 minus 2. So negative 9 plus 2 gets you negative 7. Plug that into your calculator. And the second answer, negative 9 minus 2, would get you negative 11, right? So it is, how do they want this? I'm going to enter it like this. It's probably going to correct me. Oh, okay. That's how they want it. So... If you just enter the um, comma, it's going to give you these fancy brackets, and you can just enter it. Negative 7 is one of the answers, and negative 11 is another answer, okay? Because this is your system of solutions. So, yep, that looks right. Hopefully, we get it correct. Yes, we did, okay? We, simplest, we put it in simplest form, all right? Let's do one more problem here. Mm, yeah, this one looks like a... No, let's do one more. Nope, we did something like that. We did something like that. We did something like that. Yep, let's do this one. Okay, this is one of the complicated ones, but it's the same process, okay? It's just going to require more steps. So 5 parentheses x minus 1 squared minus 39 equals to negative 19, all right? So again, um, you want to get rid of the most outward thing in terms of algebra, so you want to get rid of this negative 39 first. To get rid of a negative 39, you add 39. What you have now is 5 parentheses x minus 1 squared. This cancels equals to negative 19 plus 39. That just gets you 20. Now, do you see that 5 that is out in front? You're going to divide it by 5, divide it by 5. You have now x minus 1 squared is equal to 4. Now, we're going to square root both sides. You're going to square root x minus 1 squared, and you're going to square root 4. This cancels, leaving you with x minus 1 is equal to, what is the square root of 4? It's plus and minus 2. Notice here we have one answer, which is going to be, oops, sorry, I have to add 1 to both sides. Let me Okay, we have to add one to both sides, all right? So, sorry, we have to add one to both sides here, leaving you with x is equal to one plus and minus two, okay? You wanna get x alone. One answer would be x is equal to one plus two, and the second answer would be x equals to 1 minus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So here, if you press this and hit the comma, it's going to give you these two. Now you can enter the two answers, uh, which is 3 and negative 1. Submit, and there you go. All right, so those are all the possible different types of questions you can get when it comes to solving the quadratic with square root level one.